grown-up game of dressing up. I played Frankenfurter last Halloween. I suppose it's a bit like that. Yeah, but it's not a performance. It's not an act. It's, it's not theatre. This is me, another side of who I am. It's nothing, you know, sexual or, or kinky. I just like women's clothes. I like how I feel. Well, I mean... You know, sometimes I'm Roy, the mechanic. And, well, sometimes... I'm Celine. Celine? My feminine side. Do you think I could show you? You mean there's more? Well, showing someone else might make it easier to share with Sandra. Please, I really need your help with this. Yeah, I really should be getting back here. Yeah. I'll just be two seconds. Fine. All right. Take your time. You can't avoid this, Jimmy. <sighs> Look, I can't tell us you got winded. It stinks, can I? You're a doctor. You have an obligation to all of us. If you don't tell her, I will. And you know I won't be tactful. You can run, Jimmy, but you can't hide. Celine. Well, what can I say? You certainly look different. I, I feel different. Hello. Dr. Carter? Yeah, I was just leaving, actually. Where's Roy? Hey, come in and join the party. Grab a brush and let's get dirty. Roy? Roy, op open the door. Get changed. Uh, Mrs. Jennison, let's go and sit down, shall we? Roy! Well, go on then. I think we should take a break. What? Tea and biscuits? What a good idea. No. Boss. That's what they think, is it? And you agree with them? Fine. If that's what you want. Because it is what you want, right? Is he. gay? Is he? <laughs> oh, no. It's not, it's not you, is it? No, 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 I'm, I'm not. No, it's, it's not that at all. Then what is it? I don't get it. He likes dressing up. That's all. Dressing up? So, dressing up. Is it nothing to do with me? Because I look like this, because I'm pregnant. You're not seeing anyone else? No, it's nothing to do with you at all. People express themselves in different ways, and Roy likes to dress as a woman sometimes. He's a mechanic, for heaven's sake. But he never told me anything. Never. I mean, why? Why is he doing this? I'm sure Roy can explain. I, um... I don't think I can help you both right now, but if you'd like to come and see me, uh, I'm sure we could have a chat and tell her what you told me. She needs to understand, so look after her. Oh, well. So that's all you're gonna say then, is it? Yep. Fine. Actually, there is one thing. This. And this. Ah, uh, touche. Admit it. We're having fun and they don't like it. Are you really going to let them stop you enjoying life? Having a laugh? Because that's all we're doing. 
Well, I say, stuff them. Stuff them and stuff their rules. <laughs> and you? What do you say? Don't you dare! Ooh, a challenge. <laughs> oh, I tell you, I'm dead chuffed. It's two kilos already, and the soup you've got to try is. Yeah, well, actually, it was the uh, soup I wanted to talk to you about. Well, is it too salty or something? No, not exactly. Um, it was... What's in it? Cabbage. It can have effects. Yeah, I lose weight. I was meaning more um, side effects. Wind. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was, I was being very discreet. Well... No, don't say any more. I don't want to hear. Oh. Don't say anything, OK? Don't. I think he told her. No. I didn't want it to be like this. I, just, I thought it could just be some... a bit of fun, maybe. Something I could share with you. Please, don't push me away. I can't say I understand. Because I don't. OK. I need... I need time. All the time in the world. Look at you. Can't even get your mascara right. You're a beauty queen yet, you know. You need help. I love you. You know that. You better do. You've got a lot to make up for. Now, go, go get me my tea when I think about all of this. Roy. Never, ever wear my things. Particularly my underwear. I promise. And, um... I don't want you ever to be prettier than me. <laughs> Roy. I can't laugh this off straight away. I know. I won't do anything to make you unhappy. You and the baby mean too much to me. Let's just take it as it comes. I thought you were going off me. So were you? Sorry about what happened with Ruth. This has got nothing to do with Ruth. Right. This is about you pulling your weight. Itchy scalp. Worse behind the ears. <laughs> You're gonna pick them up from those federal children of yours. <gasps> I have been fingered as the purveyor of headlines. All thanks to Missy. A most unusual suspect next on BBC One, a priest accused of murder, a deadly sin, and a wall of silence as Dr Sloan goes undercover.